the another question which you may be asked is what is the difference between related and related table so both are dax function and related function is basically going to work only from one side of the relationship to the many side of the relationship means you can copy the data from a dimension table to a fact table so the definition is a related function retrieves a single value from a related table that is on one side of one to many relationship it is typically used in a calculated column or a measure when you want to fetch a specific column value from a related table for the current row based on the relationship defined in your data model so it's going to use the relationship so you said okay my sales table is related with item table and i want some information from the item table which is a master table which is on one side i want to bring it into the sales table as a column or inside a major calculation you can do that using the related function specifically useful when you have the price which is lying in the item you can bring in the price from item to the sales table and can use it there now then what does related table does for us so related table function retrieves an entire table from the related side of the relationship so it means you will going to get a complete table if you are in a major or a column you would need some kind of single value so you need to use some kind of a function or expression function or some kind of a calculation once once you retrieve data using the related table so let's continue with the definition in this case it returns a table containing all of the related rows in it it's useful when you want to perform further operations on the related table as a whole means you will get a complete table and you want to perform some operation as a whole such as filtering summarizing counting related record by using this function so you can further perform the operation so what we are going to do is we are going to take some examples how to use this so let's jump on the power bi desktop so on the power bi desktop i'm going to showcase you my model first of all so let me go to the model view and if you are seeing some changes yes we have a dex query view available uh, because of november 2023 release in november 2023 release this feature has been added and we will explore it in some other video so in the model i have this sales table which is joined with dimension geography customer date and item and all the dimensions are on one side i do have a relationship of item with brand all as many to many also by direction none so now let's try to use this model to understand related and related table function i'm going to go to the table view by clicking on the left hand side table view and i'll first go to sales table and sales table is on the many side of one to many relationship i click on the sales table and under the table tool on the top i have option for new column i'll click on new column and create a new column i would like to bring in the data of let's say brand from the item table so i'll say related item brand so understand why this function is able to work from one to many direction because in case of one to many direction here there is only one value available for this item there is only one value available in the master table and because of which there is only one brand value available so that is why without using anything else i am able to get a single value and that's why this function is successful when i use it on many side and bring the data from the one side now let's go to a one side table item and under the table tool let's click on the new column now when i click on the new column and try to create a new column using related let me see if i can use the related function i am able to use that related function and but the related function only show me the brand all it is not showing me the sales table so let's try to bring in brand all brand what does it gives and it returns an error because it's a many to many relationship in that case there are more than one data points which are coming so now let's try something else so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to show you how you can use related table 
So let's say if I want to bring data from sales table, so I can say sum x related table sales and then I can say quantity sales quantity and what it's going to do is it's going to bring in the related table sales the related rows will come and you can see the value in this columns are not same values if you simply go ahead and use sum of sales in a new column and let's understand that what is the difference between this and doing simply sum of sales so now let me do sum of sales quantity what's the difference between doing this versus doing a related table now here you see one number so first of all sum function is not taking care of the relationship second in a column it gives the complete value of a column so whenever you do sum of a quantity in a column then it's going to give you the complete value but why it's not giving a complete value in the column one because the related table is only bringing in that related slice of the data and then the sumx function is summing that up so we are only getting that related sum in case of many to many relationship this can also help so we are going to create another column here column 3 and there we are going to say concatenate x and there we can say related table brand all comma brand all let's close the parenthesis and then we can bring in brand from brand all or all brand let's bring in all brand and you can see the values are brand and all values for every brand we will have one value as a brand and another value as all that is what it is and if you want to differentiate you can add a comma here as a third argument and you can get the values so now you know how to make it work in case of one to many relationship when it's able to identify a single value you can use related on the many side when you don't have one value you can use a related table and then do another operation to uh, bring in a single value in case you need a single value and also we have seen how to deal with the many to many joint in this manner you have to answer this question there are couple more things which you can explore and there are videos on the channel also explore lookup value function and also explore how we can use these expression functions and the filter function inside the expression function to create a custom join within the filter function and then bring in the value hope in this manner you will be able to answer this question correctly thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time Keep learning and stay connected. Thank you.